for the rest of my life, at every down moment, I will seek to remember this beautiful woman, and I hope you will too. Comes from a small village in South China, Angel says she would never believe she could up on that stage. I was so surprised. <laughs> it's it seems like a um a dream to me. Born with brittle bone disease and dwarfism, Angel Zhao Chunli spent years of her life isolated and unable to attend school. Fourteen years ago, when President Bill Clinton first came to South China and visited her home, Angel was hidden up in the cabinets by the neighborhood because of the embarrassment of her disability. Because you know the local government talked to my family, they said I'm disabled. A person, I cannot meet Bill Clinton, so they just let my parents, you know, hit me upstairs, not let me to see Bill Clinton. After President Clinton's visit, Chris Barkley, one of the Clinton's interpreters, came back to Angel's village, only to learn the story of this girl. He helped her with the English and gave her a job. I'm working at a mountain retreat. I mean, working at the hotel, like uh, where I'm working now. So also somebody, somebody say I cannot do this job, but I did. I do my best and do, I did. So that's why. Her story of gaining independence as a disabled person inspired a lot of people. She was invited to attend the Clinton Global Initiative annual meeting and finally got to meet President Clinton. She's no longer the girl being hidden up in the cabinets 14 years ago. She refused to be a victim, and instead became her country's most prominent advocate for disability rights. Angel now has four identities: the receptionist of Buckley's Hotel Yang Shuo Mountain Retreat, the advocate for United Nations Education for All movements, a wife, and the mom of an adopted child. Even we are disabled, because our mind is not disabled, you know. But, you know, we still can do something if we have education. So that's why I hope the other, you know, disabled people like me also can, you know, can have education, job, or have, you know, family. Yep. Angel now has a lot of fans, more than her expectation. And you know who's the person she's planning to meet? It's President Barack Obama. She's pretty excited about it now. Welcome you to China. Reporting from New York, I'm Rosha Chen.